Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design and today we've got a Canva tutorial. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make some of the things that I'm going to use in my currently page in my catch-all planner. So as you open Canva, just go to canva.com as you can see here in this top left. It will encourage you to create an account because you can't use it without using an account. So just create an account and you are good to go. Now I do have the pro version, but pretty much everything works on the regular free version. I will come up here to the top right and click create a design. Now I can just put in letter here because as you can see, it's got eight and a half by 11 and that's what I'm going to use for this, but you can click this little custom size and you can use any custom size that you want. This is what I will use if I am doing a specific size, specifically for my Cricut. I will click this and I will put in the Cricut print and cut size. But for today, we're going to use letter. Now it will open a new window with your document that is eight and a half, and you can see by the little ruler at the top, by 11. Now, as you can see here, it thinks that I want to create a letter or a document of some kind. I don't. I'm going to click elements on the left here. It's the second one down. And because I know that I want to create boxes, I'm going to click this lines and shapes. And the first one that I have is boxes. There are circles, there are hexagons, there are triangles. There are so many shapes. And I'll just show you. See all? It's got all of these shapes. All of them. Like there's so many that it's unreal unreal now i'm just going to click this one this is the rectangle or square depending on what you want and it will be here now this has just filled it in in lilac this kind of purpley color and that is because up here you can see here where it says color this is my shape this is my color so i can click that and i can change the color to blue to yellow whatever color I want, and if I wanted a different color that's not here in the default, I can click this little plus and it'll open a little kind of slider where you can take any color that you desired. And you can make all of the colors under the rainbow. So yeah, you just slide that with your mouse. All right, but let's think. All right, if I'm making this into a box, so I'm just gonna slide that down, just grabbing the edge here sliding it down, grabbing it with my mouse, two and a half by, and again, I'm going to grab the edge, one and a half. So that is our vertical box. Now I can grab that with my mouse and drag it anywhere I want. Now, I know what you're thinking, die, it's purple. Come up here, click the white, now it's white, but now you can't see it. Let's put a border on there, shall we? So you're gonna come over here to where the color is, because that's where our color is. To the right of there, you've got border style. Click the border style, you've got no border, line border, you've got like a little dotted border, smaller dotted border, and a tiny dotted border. And you can change all of these in this little sliders here. Change all of these in the little sliders here. I'm going to click solid and I'm going to slide this. I like mine around eight. You do you. I like mine around eight. Now you can, if you were using the little things here, you can, if you had this, round the corners. If I had this, I can round the corners and make it a rounded corner box. I don't know why you'd want to do that. I hate rounded corners, but <laughs> now I have a box that will fit my vertical planner. To copy this, I click it, and I can come up here and click duplicate, and then just grab it, put it over there, or I can just press Control D, Control D, and I've got multiples. Now, the next thing that I can do is press Control D, and then make me some square ones. I'm gonna grab it, come to one and a half, and now I've got a square box. Control D, now I've got another one, 
another one, and another one. So I hope that shows you how easy it is to get these to be on your sheet. I'm going to come over here, select them all, and I'm going to move them just a little bit into that top corner, just so that they're, I can get another one in, should I say. I'm going to grab those, control D, and now I can fit five on that page. Should be fine with the print edge there. And now I've got five. Now clearly I'm going to print these out and then cut them by hand rather than use my Cricut. If I was using my Cricut, I'd probably only be able to get four because it only cuts, uh, prints and cuts to the six and three quarters wide. So let's also look at images, shall we? Because these are just the boxes. Well, I want something more fun than boxes. So I'm going to click elements and we're just going to click I'm going to search in for Halloween. Oops, Halloween. Now at the top here, just underneath this search bar right here, just underneath there, we've got all graphics, photos, videos, and audio. I'm going to click graphics so that only the, I'm going to say the fun things, the, the cutesy things show up. If I clicked photos, you're going to get like backgrounds. This is basically like patterned paper. You could use this as patterned paper. So if I clicked this one, as you can see, it's kind of like a pattern paper. Kind of like a pattern paper. I'm just going to delete that. I could use this. That could be my pattern paper. But yeah, you can print all of these and use them as papers. But we're going to go to graphics. So the first thing that you need to know about the graphics is some of them are free. You click the thing here, it will tell you that it's a free one. And others have a little if you can see that little crown there, and that means it's a pro one. So that means that to use this and print it off, you would have to be Canva Pro. Now, the Pro is like $10 a month and so worth it. So worth it. Oh, we've got this little tree here. I kind of like that. So we might take that tree. And I'm thinking we take the witch. Take the tree, we take the witch, and I want some kind of, yes, so I'm just taking that. Now this is a pro, is the tree a pro? The tree is free, the witch is free, but this text is pro. So to use this text one, you will have to pay for it. All right, we've got that, we've got the witch, we've got this. What else do we want? Anything? I feel like I want a cat, but I don't want that one. Not just because it's so big, but because it's just me. So I'm just going to scroll down and see what else. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. Kind of like that. Now I don't have to have, so this one, okay, I'm just gonna move, move this over here. So this one has got these, the bats and the moon. Now you could use this as is, because I kind of like it with this tree. So this, when I cut this out, I'm gonna take this and move it up into this bit. It's just gonna be with the witch. Okay, put that there. Got these, what else do we want? There are tons of things on Canva, like there are seriously so many things that you could be here all day trying to find something. Oh my goodness, look at that, that's a Jack Skellington face. Might have to have that. I'm just going to put that there just in case I do want it. Just in case I might get some more bats. I don't like those though. I love that little dog in the ghost costume. There's a cat. Do I want that cat? Let's take that cat. I mean, it's a bit big. Let's cut it down a little bit. 
So here's the thing, if you're doing this and you want to make the most of your sticker paper, I know that I'm just going to cut around this witch, so I can put that in there and get the most out of that sticker paper there. And then I think, I think that might be it. Might put another, might do another cat. So I'm going to take that cat, again I'm going to copy it, but if I put that in, I've got two cats that are facing the same way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to here and where it says flip, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip horizontal and it will give me the cat facing a different direction. I'm going to put that there. I still feel like I want bats. Let's have a look for bats. Is that the same one that we saw earlier? It doesn't feel like it is, but... Okay, I'm just looking right now for some bats that I like. And I'm not really liking any of these. But we'll find one. Oh, I like those. So here's one thing that's interesting. I mean, and these, any of these, you, most of these I could recolor if I wanted to. So these, I don't know if you can see here, they've got red eyes. I'm not sure that I want red eyes. What I might want is the same eyes that are here with this orange. So I'm going to come up to here where it's this red colour. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click the orange. So now they've got the same colour eyes as the cats. I'm going to put those in there. And what I might do is turn them that way. Again, making making use of every inch of my of my um, of my sticker paper here. And the other thing to remember is some of these images you can recolor. So this says RIP and it's in black. Again, I can come up here. The black bit I can recolor. I can be orange. It can be any color. I'm going to keep that as black. But the white bit I might change to that orange. I might have a black and orange spread. And in that case, do I want to bring in a pumpkin? Oh, I kind of like those. They're cute, but they don't really match the rest of the things, do they? I could recolor them. Let's recolor them. There we go. And then maybe we have those. Oh, so here we go. We could have those coming out of a box. I kind of like that. And then I'll take another set. And then we'll have those. I'm going to put them there. And then I'll print those out and then we'll have those as well. All right. Okay. And that is how you create something in Canva. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do is show you how to share, well, save. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here into share. Now, you're going to have options. It's going to say download. You're going to download. Now, I'm going to just use this as a regular file. So you can do PNG, you can do it JPEG, you can do PDF, you can do all kinds of things. You can do SVG. So if I was going to use this in my Cricut, I could use this as an SVG and it would just cut around it as an SVG file. I'm going to save this as a, um, I'm going to save it as a PNG. That's fine. Now, if you wanted a transparent background to use in your Cricut, you're going to need the pro version or hope that your Cricut figures out where all of the lines are. Because if I clicked transparent background for this, all of this white edge here, apart from this, because this is a white box, remember, all of this white edge here would become transparent. It will become transparent. So all of this, I'm going to change it to a different color. All of this that's blue here would become transparent. You'd still have your white in the boxes, but all of the rest of it would become transparent. Now, clearly, that's not what I want. So I'm going to change it back to white. Download. I'm going to click. doesn't matter if it's transparent to me, so I'm just going to click it as a download, right as it is. And then it will save it. Mine saves to my downloads. So it's come up on the other, on the other screen, but there is my download. So that is what has saved. And I can take that, 
wherever you've saved it to. Mine just saves to my downloads folder. And then you print it out and you are golden. And to print it out, you can just print it from your printer. You can print it from anywhere. So I'm going to print this. And that, my friends, is how easy it is to use Canva. Now, again, it's going to be something that you're going to have to get used to because it is a learning process. Anything new is a learning process. But all I have to do now is come in and cut around the boxes, cut around all of the things. And that is the easy way of using Canva. And this is sticker paper. So I can just use these straight as a sticker. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye. And don't forget to check out my currently page where I'll be using these in my planner.